This is my first time playing clay. Ian Cameron moved back to Minneapolis last week. He was pleasantly surprised when he pulled up to the tennis courts at Waveland Triangle Park in the Linden Hills neighborhood. When I see clay courts, I think of kind of major championships and so forth. I don't think of a public rec park. The best courts in the Twin Cities. Charles Weed. I've been playing tennis since I was seven. So I'm 57, so 50 years. Led the mission to build the first public clay courts in the Minneapolis park system. <clears throat> he serves as president of Minneapolis Community Clay Courts, a nonprofit that approached the city to construct the courts. The park board had to take a chance on us, and, and individual people had to write checks to a project that is it going to work? It worked, and the courts opened to the public in October 2021. It's uh, it's equity first. It's not tennis first. It's equity first. The courts are accessible to anyone with a racket, providing a place to learn and compete for tennis players from wide socioeconomic backgrounds. Players also need to help take care of the courts, brushing and cleaning the lines after playing. I have not found a single location in the United States that's all that's taken care of by volunteers, has no membership, no reservation system, free of charge. Play courts allow for slower play and are softer than traditional asphalt, making tennis ah, easier on players' joints, which this 40-something amateur appreciates. <laughs> Oops. I would say 27 millionth in the world in tennis rankings. <laughs> Is that your ranking now? Yeah. Oh, OK. What advice would you give me? Uh, find somebody that's a little bit better than you that can get the ball to you. Uh, if you have an interest in the game, the, the skills will come. Secondly, bring a lot of balls so that you're not spending your time picking up balls all the time. Uh, thirdly, short, start short. Don't try to do all the way to the baseline. It's intimidating. Um, take half the court. After his first go on clay, Ian is sold. I'll be back again, no doubt. It's clear Charles has served a lot of aces with the free public clay courts, but he and others are working to build more places to play in diverse spaces around the city. If the mission is to make clay courts available to everyone, let's move this around. The superintendent said he wanted to build five of these, uh, so we're working on number two now. Minneapolis Community Clay Courts is now working with the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board to fundraise for and transform three tennis courts to clay along Minnehaha Creek. And they're hoping, you know, maybe they could have multiple in different parts of the city. That's a great, like, aspiration. I, and I didn't even think about the fact to be softer on your joints. Like, you two were talking about vandalism isn't as big of an issue. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have as many concerns with, with a lot of those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the upkeep is not that bad. That was one of the things I was kind of wondering about. But as long as people take care of it, which for the last three years they've done a great job yeah. of, there haven't been any issues. Great.